Hassler Whitney March 23, 1907, to May 10, 1989, was an American mathematician. He was one of the founders of singularity theory, and did foundational work in manifolds, embeddings, immersions, characteristic classes, and geometric integration theory. Biography Life Hassler Whitney was born on March 23, 1907, in New York City, where his father Edward Baldwin Whitney was the first district New York Supreme Court judge. His mother, Josepha Newcomb Whitney, was an artist and active in politics. His paternal grandfather was William Dwight Whitney, professor of ancient languages at Yale University, linguist, and Sanskrit scholar. Whitney was the great-grandson of Connecticut Governor and U.S. Senator Roger Sherman Baldwin, and the great-great-grandson of American founding father Roger Sherman. His maternal grandparents were astronomer and mathematician Simon Newcomb 1835-1909, a Steve's descendant, and Mary Hassler Newcomb, granddaughter of the first superintendent of the Coast Survey Ferdinand Rudolph Hassler. His great uncle Josiah Whitney was the first to survey Mount Whitney. He married three times. His first wife was Margaret R. Howell, married on the 30th of May 1930. They had three children: James Newcomb, Carol, and Marion. After his first divorce, on January 16, 1955, he married Mary Barnett Garfield. He and Mary had two daughters: Sarah Newcomb and Emily Baldwin. Finally, Whitney divorced his second wife and married Barbara Floyd Osterman on 8 February 1986. Whitney and his first wife Margaret made an innovative decision in 1939 that influenced the history of modern architecture in New England, when they commissioned the architect Edwin B. Goodell, Jr. to design a new residence for their family in Weston, Massachusetts. They purchased a rocky hillside site on a historic road, next door to another international-style house by Goodell from several years earlier, designed for Richard and Caroline Field. Distinctively featuring flat roofs, flush wood siding, and corner windows—all of which were unusual architectural elements at the time. The Whitney House was also a creative response to its site, in that it placed the main living spaces one floor above ground level, with large banks of windows opening to the south sun and to views of the beautiful property. The Whitney House survives today, along with the Field House, more than 75 years following its original construction, both are contributing structures in the historic Sudbury Road area. Throughout his life he pursued two particular hobbies with excitement, music and mountain climbing. An accomplished player of the violin and the viola, Whitney played with the Princeton musical amateurs. He would run outside, 6 to 12 miles every other day. As an undergraduate, with his cousin Bradley Gilman, Whitney made the first ascent of the Whitney Gilman Ridge on Cannon Mountain, New Hampshire in 1929. It was the hardest and most famous rock climb in the East. He was a member of the Swiss Alpine Society and the Yale Mountaineering Society the precursor to the Yale Outdoors Club and climbed most of the mountain peaks in Switzerland. <laughs> Death Three years after his third marriage, on 10 May 1989, Whitney died in Princeton, after suffering a stroke. In accordance with his wish, Hassler Whitney ashes rest atop mountain dense blanches in Switzerland where Oscar Berlet, another mathematician and member of the Swiss Alpine Club, placed them on August 20, 1989. <laughs> <laughs> Academic career Whitney attended Yale University where he received baccalaureate degrees in physics and in music, respectively in 1928 and in 1929. Later, in 1932, he earned a Ph.D. in mathematics at Harvard University. His doctoral dissertation was The Coloring of Graphs, written under the supervision of George David Birkhoff. At Harvard, Birkhoff also got him a job as instructor of mathematics for the years 1930-31, and an assistant professorship for the years 1934-35. Later on he held the following working positions, NRC Fellow, Mathematics, 1931-33, Assistant Professor, 1935-40, Associate Professor, 1940-46, Professor, 1946-52, Professor Instructor, Institute for Advanced Study, Princeton University, 1952-77, Professor Emeritus, 1977-89, Chairman of the Mathematics Panel, National Science Foundation, 1953 
1950–56, Exchange Professor, Collège de France, 1957, Memorial Committee, Support of Research in Mathematical Sciences, National Research Council, 1966–67, President, International Commission of Mathematical Instruction, 1979–82, Research Mathematician, National Defense Research Committee, 1943–45, Construction of the School of Mathematics. He was a member of the National Academy of Science, Colloquium Lecturer, American Mathematical Society, 1946, Vice President, 1948–50 and Editor, American Journal of Mathematics, 1944–49, Editor, Mathematical Reviews, 1949–54, Chairman of the Committee Vis. Lectureship, 1946–51, Committee Summer Instructor, 1953–54, American Mathematical Society, American National Council Teachers of Mathematics, London Mathematical Society Honorary, Swiss Mathematics Society Honorary, Académie des Sciences de Paris Foreign Associate, New York Academy of Sciences Honours <laughs> 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 In 1947 he was elected member of the American Philosophical Society. In 1969 he was awarded the Lester R. Ford Award for the paper in two parts, The Mathematics of Physical Quantities, 1968A, 1968B. In 1976 he was awarded the National Medal of Science. In 1980 he was elected honorary member of the London Mathematical Society. In 1983 he received the Wolf Prize from the Wolf Foundation, and finally, in 1985, he was awarded the Steele Prize from the American Mathematical Society. Work Research Whitney's earliest work, from 1930 to 1933, was on graph theory. Many of his contributions were to the graph coloring, and the ultimate computer-assisted solution to the four-color problem relied on some of his results. His work in graph theory culminated in a 1933 paper, where he laid the foundations for matroids, a fundamental notion in modern combinatorics and representation theory independently introduced by him and Bartle Leendert van der Werden in the mid-1930s. In this paper Whitney proved several theorems about the matroid of a graph M G. one such theorem, now called Whitney's two-isomorphism theorem, states, given G and H are graphs with no isolated vertices. Then M G and M H are isomorphic if and only if G and H are two isomorphic. Whitney's lifelong interest in geometric properties of functions also began around this time. His earliest work in this subject was on the possibility of extending a function defined on a closed subset of n to a function on all of n with certain smoothness properties. A complete solution to this problem was found only in 2005 by Charles Pfefferman. In a 1936 paper, Whitney gave a definition of a smooth manifold of class CR, and proved that, for high enough values of R, a smooth manifold of dimension n may be embedded in 2n plus 1, and immersed in 2n. In 1944 he managed to reduce the dimension of the ambient space by 1, provided that n greater than 2, by a technique that has come to be known as the Whitney trick. This basic result shows that manifolds may be treated intrinsically or extrinsically, as we wish. The intrinsic definition had been published only a few years earlier in the work of Oswald Veblen and J. H. C. Whitehead. These theorems opened the way for much more refined studies, of embedding, immersion and also of smoothing, that is, the possibility of having various smooth structures on a given topological manifold. He was one of the major developers of cohomology theory, and characteristic classes, as these concepts emerged in the late 1930s, and his work on algebraic topology continued into the 40s. He also returned to the study of functions in the 1940s, continuing his work on the extension problems formulated a decade earlier, and answering a question of Laurent Schwartz in a 1948 paper on ideals of differentiable functions. Whitney had, throughout the 1950s, an almost unique interest in the topology of singular spaces and in singularities of smooth maps. An old idea, implicit even in the notion of a simplicial complex, was to study a singular space by decomposing it into smooth pieces nowadays called strata. Whitney was the first to see any subtlety in this definition, and pointed out that a good stratification should satisfy conditions he termed A and B, now referred to as Whitney conditions. 
The work of René Thom and John Mather in the 1960s showed that these conditions give a very robust definition of stratified space. The singularities in low dimension of smooth mappings, later to come to prominence in the work of René Thom, were also first studied by Whitney. In his book Geometric Integration Theory he gives a theoretical basis for Stokes' theorem applied with singularities on the boundary. Later, his work on such topics inspired the researches of Jenny Harrison. These aspects of Whitney's work have looked more unified, in retrospect and with the general development of singularity theory. Whitney's purely topological work Stiefel-Whitney class, basic results on vector bundles entered the mainstream more quickly. Topic. Teaching activity Topic. Teaching the youth In 1967, he became involved full-time in educational problems, especially at the elementary school level. He spent many years in classrooms, both teaching mathematics and observing how it is taught. He spent four months teaching pre-algebra mathematics to a classroom of seventh graders and conducted summer courses for teachers. He traveled widely to lecture on the subject in the United States and abroad. He worked toward removing the mathematics anxiety, which he felt leads young pupils to avoid mathematics. Whitney spread the ideas of teaching mathematics to students in ways that relate the content to their own lives as opposed to teaching them rote memorization. Topic. Selected publications Hassler Whitney published 82 works, all his published articles, included the ones listed in this section and the preface of the book Whitney 1957, are collected in the two volumes Whitney 1992a, pp, xiixiv, and Whitney 1992b, pp, xiixiv. Whitney, Hassler, January 1932. Congruent Graphs and the Connectivity of Graphs. American Journal of Mathematics, 54 1, 150-168, doi, 10.2307-2371086, JFM 58.0609.01, JSTOR 2371086 Mr. 1506881, ZBL 0003.32804. Two Isomorphic Graphs. American Journal of Mathematics, 55 245 254, doi 101327 JFM 59.1235.01, JSTOR 2371127, Mr. 1506961, ZBL 0006.37005. Whitney, H. 1957, Geometric Integration Theory, Princeton Mathematical Series, 21 Princeton, N.J. and London, Princeton University Press and Oxford University Press, pp. 15 plus 387, Mr. 0087148, ZBL 0083.28204. Whitney, Hassler 1968A. The Mathematics of Physical Quantities. Part 1. The American Mathematical Monthly, 75 to 115 minus 138. Doi: 10.2307/2315883. Mister 0228219. ZBL 0186.57901. Whitney, Hassler. 1968b. The Mathematics of Physical Quantities. Part 2, The American Mathematical Monthly, 75-227-256, doi, 10.2307, 2,315,883, Mr. 228220, ZBL 0186.57901. Whitney, Hassler, 1972, Complex Analytic Varieties, Addison Wesley Series in Mathematics, Reading Menlo Park London Don Mills, Addison Wesley, ISBN 0-201-08653-0, Mr. 038734, ZBL 0265.32008. Whitney, Hassler 1992A, Eels, James, Toledo, Domingo, eds, The Collected Papers of Hassler Whitney. 
Volume 1, Contemporary Mathematicians, Basel Boston Stuttgart, Berkhauser Verlag, pp. XIV plus 590, ISBN 0-8176-3558-0, ZBL 0746.01016. Whitney, Hassler, 1992b, Eels, James, Toledo, Domingo, eds. The Collected Papers of Hassler Whitney. Volume 2, Contemporary Mathematicians, Boston Basel Berlin, Berkhauser Verlag, pp. XIV plus 596, ISBN 0 8176 3559 9, ZBL 0746.01016. Topic See also Loomis Whitney inequality, Whitney extension theorem, Stiefel Whitney class, Whitney's conditions A and B, Whitney embedding theorem, Whitney graph isomorphism theorem, Whitney immersion theorem, Whitney inequality, Whitney's planarity criterion, Whitney umbrella. Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Hassler Whitney. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. Hassler Whitney Page, Whitney Research Group. Interview with Hassler Whitney about his experiences at Princeton Hassler Whitney. The First Century of the International Commission on Mathematical Instruction Informs, Biography of Hassler Whitney from the Institute for Operations Research and the Management Sciences.